It's July 26, 2024. I'm Todd Dunn, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about my solar battery backup power system for my house because I just made a fairly substantial upgrade. Uh, before I go show you the upgrade, I'll talk a little bit about what the system is in case you don't remember uh, from the videos I posted about it about five and a half years ago. About five and a half years ago, I put uh, this one kilowatt solar array on my roof. It wasn't a particularly big project, it took me two afternoons. And uh, it will, in the summer, like now, it will generate between four and five kilowatt hours per day, which is basically all the power that we use in the summer. So this is enough to run our house on a sunny day. Won't do it on a cloudy day. If it's cloudy and raining, uh, we might only get one kilowatt out of this in a day, if we're lucky. This is connected to uh, some batteries. Initially, I had eight Group 27 lead-acid batteries, 105 amp-hour batteries, which gave me approximately a 10 kilowatt hour battery bank uh, of which about 40 to 50 percent was usable without uh, doing permanent damage to the batteries. Well those batteries are were getting old. They're closing in on six years old. So <clears throat> uh, last year in January, January 2023, I added two uh, 24 volt 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries to my battery bank. Uh, those batteries have uh, a much better operating uh, setup and they can uh, run, oh, maybe 10,000 cycles if you only discharge them about 40 to 50% and maybe only as, as much as 4,000 cycles if you draw them all the way down. But 4,000 cycles is still 11 years. So they're worth the extra money. And those uh, batteries are also connected to a four kilowatt split phase output inverter that runs everything in my house. So anyway, let me go down and show you my upgrade that I did today. Okay, this is the upgrade I just made to my system. Uh, earlier this month, on, I bought two more 24 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. These are identical to the batteries I bought last year, which are sitting in the box underneath the new ones. Yesterday I removed the lead acid batteries and turned them in for the core charge and lugged out over 500 pounds of batteries. And then today about 1.30 FedEx dropped these two batteries off. Uh, these are replacing the 10 kilowatt hours of uh, lead acid batteries that I have, this is, uh, together these two are 10 kilowatt hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries. And however, in contrast to the lead acid batteries, which you really don't want to draw much below 50% of their capacity, you can draw these down to 100% of their capacity. So I can pull 10 kilowatt hours out of these two batteries. Uh, I usually wouldn't, but I could. So they give me, these two batteries give me twice as much capacity as the lead acid batteries that they replaced. Now, right now, you'll notice that only one of the batteries is connected. That battery is currently connected to my solar array, and I do not own a 24 volt charger except for this, the charger and this inverter. Um, and I didn't want to hook it up. But, uh, so I'm letting the solar array charge that battery up. 
and when it gets into float I'll switch the solar array over to the other battery. It's going to take about a day and a half for each battery assuming it stays sunny and uh, so we should uh, have both of these batteries fully charged uh, by sometime on Sunday at that point I will parallel them the reason I'm charging them up all the way before I parallel them is that I'd like them to be at the same state of charge and basically the same voltage before I tie them together so that I don't have substantial currents passing between the two batteries. Um, and uh, so that's my upgrade. With this upgrade I now have 20 kilowatt hours of usable lithium iron phosphate battery capacity. In the summer, that's enough to run my house for four full days. In the winter, we use a little more power than that because that little silver box there, which is a propane fired combi boiler, does use a little bit of power and it runs in the winter and uh, we, it puts us up to around 7 kilowatt hours a day in the winter. So the four batteries that I have now will let me run for three days uh, if the power goes out. Now this is a ba battery backup uh, power system for outages. Although in the summer I uh, run the house pretty much uh, off the batteries exclusively for about three months and cut my electric bill down to effectively zero for those three months. I have it set up to a uh, transfer switch and, uh, and an isolated power panel for the circuits that we run off the uh, battery backup system. So it's safe to do it. When it's running off battery backup there is no connection between the inverter and the batteries and the grid. So it doesn't matter what's happening there, the system will continue to uh, run and even when the power comes back on until I turn it off. So anyway, that was my upgrade. These two batteries, I got a real deal on them by buying them on Amazon Prime Day and uh, together they cost about $2,100 which is quite a good price for 10 kilowatt hours of battery capacity. This is standalone. It is not connected to the internet in any way and is simply a backup power system, which if I switch the circuits that are connected to it on, that isolates them from the grid and lets me run off solar and battery capacity. So that's my big upgrade. I've been waiting to do this until prices on lithium iron phosphate batteries came down and they did about two weeks ago. Uh, they bounced right back up though. I, as I said, I got a real deal on these by buying them on Amazon Prime Day. Okay, so that's it. The only issue with doing this was lugging the batteries, the lead acid batteries, that were in that box, almost 500 pounds of them, out to my truck and getting rid of them and then lugging these in from out on the front porch where FedEx left them. These weigh about 85 pounds each, so they're a little bit heavy, but they're not too bad once you do the initial lift, which unfortunately because of my bionic knee, I do have to use my back a little bit to do the lift. Uh, so, yeah. But once you get upright, it's, they're not too hard to carry. Anyway, so hopefully tomorrow afternoon I'll be able to switch my solar charging array over to the right-hand battery, which is currently disconnected, and charge it up fully. And then probably on Monday I will parallel the two batteries and have a functional 10 kilowatt hour battery bank. Right now, uh, I have the two 10 kilowatt hour battery banks, each consisting of two of these lithium iron phosphate batteries, uh, set up separately. 
I have switches over there that I can change to select which battery bank is being charged by solar and uh, also which battery bank is running the inverter. I did that uh, because uh, with the lead acid battery bank that I had until yesterday, the charging characteristics were very different from the lithium iron phosphate batteries that are underneath these two. And uh, I couldn't charge them with the same system, so I had to have a separate charging system for the lead acid batteries. So in a few days, I think I'll probably tie all four batteries together into one 20 kilowatt hour battery bank instead of two 10 kilowatt hour battery banks. So, we'll, but we'll see. I may leave it this way for a while and just set the switches up from the charge controller that I have remaining so that I can switch which battery bank is charging because as I said, the batteries are essentially identical. Anyway, We'll get these paralleled in a couple of days once they're both fully charged and then the system can just be left as it is. The big advantage of the lithium batteries over the lead acid batteries, in addition to much longer life, is that these are zero maintenance. There's nothing to do. You can't open them. Uh, you can't add electrolyte or anything like that. You just use them. The lead acid batteries, about every three months, I had to open up the box and go through the system and pop the electrolyte up in all eight batteries. And uh, so that was all 48 cells that I had to top up, and it was kind of time consuming. Uh, but now I do not have to do that. Okay, so that's a big upgrade I made to my uh, solar battery backup power system. And it's uh, working pretty well so far. I'm happy with the uh, way the batteries are charging. I just checked my charge controller. And since I got that battery wired up at about 2 o'clock, uh, it has charged up by just over 2 kilowatt hours. Uh, and it probably needs about another 1.5 kilowatt hours to get to full charge. It's about 4.30 right now and uh, sun and the solar panels are putting out about 650 watts so that battery is not going to reach full charge today but it will probably by oh one o'clock tomorrow at which point i'll switch the wiring over to the other battery they ship those batteries at about 30 percent state of charge so each one is going to require about three and a half kilowatt hours to fully charge it okay so that's that. That is the state of my solar battery backup system on the 26th of July, 2024. Thanks for watching.